Atlanta. Atlanta has risen from the ashes of the Civil War and has a couple of aces in its sleeve. That's the city where Margaret Mitchell wrote Gone with the Wind, Dr. Martin Luther King started his public activities, and John Stith Pemberton invented Coca-Cola. Keep watching to see the best things to do in Atlanta. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get the newest videos from Scantrip first. Downtown Atlanta Downtown Atlanta is the city's central business district. It has many attractions. The World of Coca-Cola Museum, the Georgia Aquarium, the CNN Center, the National Civil and Human Rights Center, the College Football Hall of Fame, the Children's Museum, Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park, and Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Downtown Atlanta is also home to the tallest building in the city and Southeast region, Bank of America Plaza. Piedmont Park Piedmont Park is about a mile from downtown Atlanta. It is one of the best free things to do in the city. It was designed in the late 19th century for major exhibitions. Over the decades, indoor picnic areas, tennis courts, a pier on Lake Clara Mere, a visitor center, and playgrounds and sports fields emerged on the grounds. Piedmont Park hosts fun activities on weekends and holidays for the whole family. Centennial Olympic Park Centennial Olympic Park is a 22-acre public green space in downtown Atlanta. It was built for the Summer Olympics held here in 1996. The park's centerpiece is the musical Dry Fountain of Rings designed to symbolize the Olympics. There are also several sculpture groups. Sky View Atlanta Sky View Atlanta is a Ferris wheel that rises 20 stories above Centennial Olympic Park. It consists of 42 climate-controlled gondolas. Its top has a panoramic view of downtown and other parts of the city. This is one of the best date night ideas in town. Georgia Aquarium It was the largest aquarium in the world until 2012. It consists of seven galleries with hundreds of animal species. They include whale and tiger sharks, beluga whales, sea lions, bottlenose dolphins, manta rays, otters, Japanese spider crabs, penguins, and sea dragons. You can dive and swim among the sea creatures at the Georgia Aquarium and even be in a cage a few inches away from the sharks. Zoo Atlanta The zoo is one of Atlanta's best places for families to spend time. It is one of only three locations in the United States that are home to giant pandas. For 40 years, until 2000, the main symbol of Zoo Atlanta was Willie B, the gorilla. It is difficult to list all the animals that can be seen here. Children will love the contact zoo with pygmy goats, sheep, and pigs. Here you can witness the feeding of animals or participate in the process personally, visit special events, or have fun on the rides. Delta Flight Museum the Delta Flight Museum is an aviation exhibition complex located near Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. It is one of the finest aviation museums in the world. In two historic hangars, visitors can see aircraft from different eras. Part of the collection is exhibited outdoors. There are interesting quests for children, allowing them to get acquainted with the exhibits playfully. Six Flags Over Georgia Theme Park Six Flags Over Georgia is a theme park 12 miles from downtown Atlanta. It has some of the best roller coasters in the country. In addition, the park has carousels and rides based on characters from the DC universe. Batman, Riddler, Superman, Joker, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and Wonder Woman. During the warm season, there is a water park. Stone Mountain Park Stone Mountain is the most visited park and one of the top things to do in Georgia. Its main attraction is the Confederate Memorial. It is a 28-meter high bass relief carved into the rock. Stone Mountain Park offers lake fishing, hiking, picnicking, mountain climbing, biking, and golfing. Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park is a complex that includes sites related to his life and work. It contains the home where the civil rights activist was born, the church where he was baptized, and the joint grave with his wife, Coretta Scott King. 
The King Center houses a museum, and the former firehouse has a store and exhibits on desegregation. Atlanta Botanical Garden. It is primarily known for its plant installation, goddess of the earth, made in the form of a woman with long hair from whose outstretched palm water flows. The Atlanta Botanical Garden also has stone and glass sculptures, fountains, the children's garden, the stores of woods, the canopy walk, and the skyline garden. The Fuqua Orchid Center's collection offers over 2,000 diverse species of orchids. Fernbank Museum of Natural History. The Fernbank Museum of Natural History is a complex consisting directly of a museum, a movie theater, and a forest. The permanent exhibits here include dinosaur skeletons, ancient clay products, and Native American and European settler cultural objects. The 75-acre forest includes hiking trails, suspended paths, play areas, and of course, stunning nature. Fox Theater. The Fox Theater is a former movie palace located on Peachtree Street. It now hosts theatrical performances, Broadway troops, concerts, and film screenings. And the Egyptian Ballroom hosts private events. Anyone can peek backstage during a guided tour. In Atlanta, everyone can find an attraction to their liking. History enthusiasts, children, couples in love, and partygoers. Let us know in the comments which place you would like to visit in Atlanta first. It can be a great destination for your journey. So don't wait for a perfect moment to come. Explore the world and make memories.